and welcome back to vlogtober day two i'm so excited i actually got day one up for y'all this morning super duper proud of myself about that like let's hope i can keep this going stay on a roll um i feel so embarrassed because well i guess i'm about to be embarrassed because i'm telling y'all but i slept in it's one o'clock i got up maybe like an hour ago now i did wake up um like I wake up around 6 in the morning every morning um, to kind of help Luis get out the door. So, you know, I make us breakfast, I pack his lunch, things like that. Um, I didn't have breakfast this morning though because I knew that I was going to take a nap. I, I just felt so, so tired. I was like, you know what, as soon as he leaves, I'm going to like work a little bit because I always feel best like if I get a few things done in the morning, like it just makes me feel better. If I get something done like before like 8.30, 9 o'clock, well, I went and finished my video. I worked a little bit, just like maybe 45 minutes, and then I went and I laid back down, and I put an alarm for 9.30, but of course I like ignored it, snoozed it, I don't know what I did to it, because I, I didn't even see it this, like when I woke up. But I woke up at noon, and my best friend is coming over in a little while. She should be here in about an hour or so. So I did tidy up the bedroom already. I need to just tidy up around here. I need to wrap her birthday gift. I still haven't given her her birthday gift. And then I need to eat something so I'm starving. I didn't have like any breakfast like I said so I'm super hungry. Both Luna and Odin are staring at me like what are you doing mom? What are, who are you talking to? No one's talking to you mom. <laughs> They're like right behind me. Um, but anyway I'm gonna get my day started super late but still gonna get going here. I still need a lot or I still have a lot of shop stuff that I need to get done so I don't know I feel like today might be one of those days where I don't vlog too too much I'm not sure I'll probably vlog I don't know I don't I don't know if I'm going anywhere today other than like the gym so anyway I will <laughs> I will update y'all throughout the day hey, y'all so it is quite a bit later it is almost five so I need to start dinner. Luis said he was gonna be a little late today because he was gonna go get a haircut, which he was in dire need of. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. Uh, but I actually just got back. So Giovanna was here. She was here for a couple of hours. We went to Michael's so that I could buy some like mats for um, like cutting stickers since mine are pretty worn out already. And that was, that was all we did. Oh, I bought this thing. Hold on, let me grab it. It's a wreath. No, not really. A garland, um, like a felt garland, and they were 50% off or 40% off. I can't remember, but it's just like felt. Um, and I thought about making it myself. Like I went and looked at the felt, uh, but this felt is much thicker, so I would need to order some because I'm gonna make myself like a fall one. I was actually thinking of just like, like after Halloween is over, I could just take out like, cause it's just on a string. I mean, it would be pretty easy to restring just with um, a needle. Um, I was thinking about like changing out the black to like a brown so that I could use it for oh that was stick um, I could use it for the fall as well um, for like Thanksgiving decorations but yeah I'm gonna like hang this on our um, little coffee bar just kind of like let it hang a little bit and come off the sides a bit I need to fix it um, I thought that would be so cute and it was originally $18 and it was I think like seven or eight dollars off so it was ten bucks I'm so excited about it I think it's super super cute I love how that like they had a bunch of stuff and all of their Halloween stuff is like on super mega sale and all of their fall stuff was on super mega sale too so that was exciting hopefully y'all can still catch that sale um I don't think I'm gonna make this vlog like a full vlog because I feel like I've hardly talked or done anything today but I'm gonna get started on dinner we're doing um, chicken tacos, but like instead of talk instead of tortillas, we're using um, lettuce. I think that's what we're gonna do. I don't know. Probably. Maybe I'll ask Luis to bring some chipotle. Although he got super sick. No, I already marinated the chicken. I should just eat chicken. Sometimes I like try to talk myself out of cooking. Do y'all do that? Like. I mean, it's not that I don't, I enjoy cooking. I just hate cleaning up the kitchen every single night. It just like annoys me. I'm sure everybody feels the same way. Like cleaning, like washing dishes is like the worst. Um, but anyway, uh, I always try to like talk myself out of it. I'm like, oh, like maybe I can ask you to like pick something up or, you know, we haven't eaten out in a while. Like maybe we can go out, but no, 
spent way too much money the last couple of days mostly on like shop stuff to be honest i ordered a bunch of like shop supplies and things but i should just cook from home so i'm gonna chop up some onion and then i put the onion like i grill the onion and then put the chicken in there to cook with the onion and then i just chop up the chicken and then we'll put it on the lettuce like kind of like lettuce wraps um be super good though i'm back because i just got an Amazon package that I'm so excited to share with y'all. Unsolved case files. And it says, who killed Harmony? This girl down here. It's a fake case, obviously. But it is, so it's a murder mystery game. It says, lets you be a cold case detective. It says, on May 8th, 1998, in the small town of Indiana, no, the small Indiana town of Riverdale was shocked by the brutal murder of one of the most beloved citizens of the night before her wedding. The victim ha Wow, I can't read. Harmony Ashcroft was murdered in the parking lot behind a restaurant during her own wedding rehearsal dinner. Bones McBride, a local vagrant, was framed for the murder but has spent over two decades behind bars despite being 100% innocent. Your job is to prove his innocence and convict the real killer, but who is it? It says includes articles, photos, witness statements, mugshots, suspect interrogations, and, is mo and more. Check answers and get hints online. Um, solve three objectives to crack the case. So it comes with this file. And like you can see here, I don't want to. Well, I guess I'll open it. I'm so excited. So excited. I want to do this like as a, you know, like one of our little date nights. Um, but obviously here at home, I need scissors. Um, I just think this is so cool. I don't know, like, I need to figure out what weekend we're gonna have, like, time to to do this. But of course, I'm gonna be vlogging, so y'all will see this. So let me open it. I, I got it on Amazon, by the way. I will link it down below, of course. Um, so let's see. Bonus envelope A. Do not open until after completing objective number one. Bonus envelope B, do not open until objective two. And then here is the case file. So you have some, it looks like these are pictures. So pictures of like the crime scene and some people. You have like a newspaper looking article oh my gosh this is so cool I have this cool map look at this oh can y'all even see this is so cool i'm so excited so i will link this like i said um i can't remember how much it was but i think it was like either 20 25 dollars they have several different ones this had the most reviews this like this one that i got um and it had like the highest reviews so that's why i got this one but i am so so pumped about this if y'all don't know i love like anything true crime i know it's like super on trend right now but i've always been like a super huge fan of forensic files like i've talked about this in plan with me's where like forensic files like i'll put it on at night to like fall asleep too just because i like that guy's voice like it's very soothing um but i just love anything like i've always loved like the weird mystery shows i'm a huge fan of like um crime uh crime junkies the podcast um and i saw on the crime junkie podcast facebook group they were talking about this and some a few people had tried it and they recommended it so i was like oh my gosh this sounds like such a cool like date night type thing you could also do this like um in like with groups of friends like if you know like you know like a friend night kind of game night thing this is so cool i'm so excited i will of course show y'all like once we're playing i just hung the garland up and i think it looks really cute i love how it looks definitely makes it a lot more festive so adorable still need to write something on that tech board but we're not going to talk about that also let me show y'all i'm gonna flip y'all around got these headbands this is i think this one's like the snake print one i obviously like need to learn how to like make the cute bow like up here but don't know how to do that right now um i need to like watch a youtube video but the little pack of them came with a whole bunch of different well, i guess this can't be the snake because this is a snake is this like a oh it's like a leopard but like a gray and then there's like a zebra one there's this one 
like two kind of leopardy ones and the snake one. And I think it was like 10 or 12 bucks on Amazon for them. They're basically just little um, like head scarves. And you can tie these on like purses and things. So I can make this little like bow thing up on top and be cute. Uh, and then I also got, obviously a bunch of stuff came in the mail. I wasn't expecting these until tomorrow, but they came early. Um, I got my A6 Hobonichi for next year. This is the planner that I've mentioned I use like as a food journal. Um, it has like a day on one page. I don't know if y'all can see that. There you go. Uh, it has like a dot grid, or I'm sorry, a, a square uh, grid. And I got the, I think it was called the Stife. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it has a little bunny there instead of the little keys that it normally comes with. And then I got my Hobonichi uh, Weeks as well. This is a mega. I did get the hardcover. I think this one is the shell pink. Um, they just restocked. That's Luis. Say hi, babe. No, you're not in the frame. A little more. There you go. <laughs> Luis just got home from work. Um, and it's like a hard dirt cover than the other one but it's still kind of floppy and i did get the mega this time which if you don't know that basically just means that it has more notes pages in the back so yeah these don't start till 2020 though so have to wait a while actually i think this one might start earlier let me check december see November <laughs> November 25th this one you could start using then the other one doesn't start until the, the new year though but so excited to have these and I did get an extra clear cover um, for this one but that is it for Happy Meal we're actually gonna go out to dinner I talked to you and take me out to dinner since I didn't really feel like cooking um, <laughs> right, baby? Huh? but I talked to you into taking me out to eat just because I want to go fly yeah, just because he wants to go fly his airplane. Oh, maybe I'll film that. I'll show y'all um, him flying his airplane because he's gotten, yeah, he's gotten much better at it. I know for a long time, like if you've been watching my plan with me for like a super long time, you would hear me say, we went to the park again, we tried to fly, but didn't fly, but now he can fly. So hopefully I don't jinx you, babe. That would be awful. <laughs> so we'll do that and then we're going to go out to eat and then. I think I'm good. Yeah. You're super pro now? No, I'm not pro. <laughs> oh, it's going away. Dang it. So it's like one of those military planes, but it has like this giant satellite dish looking thing on the top, and that's the first time we see one of those. So we're at the park. That's where we usually go over there to fly, but there's some people with a dog. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I'm going. I gotta throw that way anyway because the wind's coming that direction. Okay, well, hopefully that dog doesn't eat us. Well, there, it's on the you wanna show your plane? Not really. It's a. Uh, it's got a uh, blue chicken pox. Blue chicken pox. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say stuff like that. No. Don't say stuff like that. Out. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it's coming from that direction. There's some people with the dog over there. He was saying I, that he hopes he doesn't hit them. As you fly directly towards them. I don't I don't think it's gonna come up on the video, it's so hard to see it. Oh you're doing so good, babe! His concentration. Land it closer to us, babe. <laughs> oh, there's a real airplane coming. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see it. It's like somewhere over here. Oh, oh no! It's supposed to do that. Oh, I thought it got. No, I thought it got snagged on that thing. I got scared. Oh look, there's that military satellite plane that I was talking about. 
So San Antonio has a lot of, um, not a lot, but a couple of Air Force bases. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me, it's so windy. Oh, that's really cool. It's so low. Y'all see how low that is? It looks so cool. What do you think? You did a good job. Another oh, one? it didn't break? Yeah. Oh, okay. One more team. One more. All right. One more. Yeah. That's it. Go ahead. Because I'm hungry. See if I can like try to keep track of it like if I zoom into it it's hard So this is where we're coming to dinner because I get to have a big old salad. Do y'all see my reflection? I wanted to show y'all. I put the little like thing on the top of my head and it's just like not working out. It's just not, but whatever. We're dealing with it for now. We're gonna go eat. Luis likes to get like the potatoes and things here, but since I am being a little more strict on the diet, I'll just do the salad. home I just wrote on the board I know it probably is gonna look kind of weird I mean I feel like my hand lettering leaves something you know to be desired there but I put I put a spell on you which I thought was cute I originally wrote boo but then I realized this little ghost like says boo and I thought it would be too much boo going on but I wanted to show you all this thing so you all saw these little beakers that I have up here um, to hold our syrups like our coffee syrups uh, I'm currently making a new label so as you can see this one says pumpkin spice so this is gives kind of like a raised I don't know if you're gonna be um, you'll see that it gives like a little raised edge it's a little like punch I don't know what's all over my hands little punch um, kind of label maker so I'm making one pumpkin spice we have pumpkin cheesecake and pumpkin caramel uh, and then I'm going to put that on these. Um, and the way this works is you just like twist it to find the letter. So I'm trying to find a P. So go to P and then not go to P, but the letter P. And you like click it and it makes like very satisfying noise, which I love. Um, And then what I do is I'll do like a double space and then the next letter because I'm going to put like I'm going to cut pumpkin and then put spice underneath it and so on. Um, so it leaves a little bit more of an edge. Uh, and then so this one is pumpkin. Let me do the whole cheesecake here. feel like that's some kind of ASMR dream. So I have my whole long thing here. Um, pumpkin spice, pumpkin cheesecake. Hopefully I didn't misspell anything. Cause that's like the bad thing. It's not like, you know, a normal label maker where you can see what you're actually typing. And I have some tweezers to take off the little backing. These tweezers are like terrifying. They're so pointy. I'm gonna have Luis like kind of dull them down a little bit because I want them for like they're for stickers not for tweezing my eyebrows so I want to show y'all I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see um but in this one do you see how there's like a little bit of a white indentation right at the edge there so you have to be careful with these because if you bend it it kind of creates the same thing as the little like stamp effect um it pushes it and it turns it white so just something to kind of 
be aware of because you do have to be careful with them and if like you just saw me there I was like struggling with removing the backing but that could just be because these tweezers are like super duper duper um pointy so they're a little scary <laughs> but anyway let me pour the syrups in there and I will show y'all what the whole thing looks like now all right y'all so that's my I put a spell on you and then have um syrups here I like I hadn't even noticed in the bottle that there were like different colors but I really like how it looks and I love the new little tassel oh I just I'm so happy with this okay so that's gonna be it let me put y'all down all right y'all so look how cute it's like honestly giving me so much joy just looking at it, it makes me so happy but anyway that's gonna be it y'all I'm gonna say good night hopefully go edit this video right now so that I can have it up for y'all tomorrow kind of late though so don't know if it'll get finished but i'm gonna go try and i'll talk to you tomorrow night y'all